yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. All right. So today is gonna be an interesting day. Kayla, <laughs> who you guys saw in the video where she acted like the Corvette was hers, is gonna drive the Corvette today. So we got stuff to boost her up on the seat because you are only, how tall? Five, two and a half. Five, two and a half. I'm six foot six and that Tillet seat is set up for me. And somehow she's gonna have to reach the clutch now, in your last video, you said you, you've driven stick for how long? <laughs> Since I was 12. <laughs> manual? How long have you been driving manual for? Since I was 12. Since you were 12. <laughs> but it's, she's never driven stick before. That whole video was a lie. We're gonna go somewhere where there's plenty of room to drive around in the Bald Eagle machine. And she's gonna give it her first shot at driving stick. And hopefully, nothing bad happens. I did think through it a little bit. I mean, there's nothing she can break on this car that I haven't already tried or, you know, pushed to its limits. So she's gonna she's gonna give it a shot. It is a stock clutch that's been beaten horribly. So it's a little bit tougher than your standard, but uh, hopefully she should be good to go. ideal for uh, someone to start out driving stick on a 900 horsepower supercharged Corvette but you know we're this on this channel we do it for Dale and so you're gonna have to do it for Dale so uh, let's do it at this point Kayla is getting very stressed <laughs> it sounded like such a good idea yesterday and now I'm really unsure it's gonna be it's gonna be okay all right, let's, uh, let's set up some cameras. So because I'm so tall, I have a custom seat in the Corvette. Uh, it just kind of puts me a lot lower from the roof and back quite a bit. And currently in the position that I sit in it with, you know, so Kayla, why don't you show them if you can reach the pedal? <laughs> Try and push the clutch all the way down. <laughs> I can. Close. I think we're only gonna need that black pillow. We can also slide it forward a little bit. Yeah, it, yeah. it is on a slider, so. All right, I'll move it. Weapons you. of choice here. You have comforter. Comforter and pillow. Pillow. What are you thinking? This is gonna go behind me. Behind? Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna sit on this. You're gonna sit on that. All right, let's, yeah. let's, that was pretty fast folding. Okay, let's get this in here first, I Okay, think. all right. Oh wow, nice and tall. How it's about as tall can, as you? Can you reach the pedals? Oh. It's okay, you got to it to the down. floor. Yeah, you need this behind yeah, you. <laughs> you hear your Just head. so you guys can keep an eye on Kayla's skilled footwork, we will have the foot cam. All right, so first things first, I'm going to give Kayla here a little lesson on just how to drive stick, the simple, easiest way I could possibly explain it. There's a clutch, which is the pedal on the left. 
brake, just in the middle, and then the gas, it's in its normal position on the very right. And in order to go in a manual car, you have to be in typically the lowest gear, which is first. There's seven gears on this car. So you'd be in first gear with the clutch in. You can't change gears unless the clutch is in. Okay. So you'd be in first gear, clutch in, and then to start going, you would slowly let the clutch out and slowly give it a little bit of gas. So you kind of have to pivot, let the clutch out, and give it a little bit of gas. And then the car will start to go and you'll start to feel it, you know, moving forward. Once the clutch is fully released, then you just put your foot to the side and use the gas until you have to change gears again. To change gears, you'd have to push the clutch in again, pull it to the next gear, release the clutch, and then use the gas. All right, so when you're switching gears, you have to go off the gas. You have to go off the, the gas on the clutch. clutch. Switch gear. Switch the gear. Slowly switch. And then, and then yeah, let's slip it back out. Kind of let it back out. Like when I refer to slipping the clutch, it's like letting it out slowly. All right, I'm going to give you a little sample in the parking lot. Okay. You would push the clutch in put the car into first gear and then you're going to slowly let the clutch out with your left foot and slowly give it gas with your right foot and the car will start to go forward and then now the clutch is completely out we're in first gear and we can just drive around can you brake without using anything excellent question so when you slow down you have to push the clutch back in for the car to stop clutch in and then you can hit the brake you can't stop with the clutch like so if the clutch is out and it's in gear you can't stop or it'll stall unless you push in the clutch and pull it into neutral does that okay, make sense so brake and clutch so brake and clutch as long as the clutch is in you can stop anytime as long as it's in and you'll probably forget but i'll i'll send a couple reminders your way so one nice thing about this car is even though it has a cam in it and a supercharger and stuff like that, it's fairly easy to drive and you can actually drive it without even pushing in the gas. You can just let the clutch out really slowly as long as you go nice and slow because it's a pretty strong V8 engine. It's like a tractor. And uh, so that'll be an easy, one of the easier ways for you to do this. Okay, so Kayla is now behind the wheel of the Corvette for her first time. And uh, she's got her comforter behind her. Can reach the pedals nice and nice and good. So it is time to start driving. All right, so first things first, push the clutch in. Turn it on. Hold on, make sure you're in neutral. Okay, so shake it a little bit. Shake that side to side. So that's how you know you're in, like all the way. Oh. That's how you know you're in neutral. Okay. You're gonna wanna push the brake and the clutch both in. Both of them? Yeah, just push them both in. Okay. Just a little Ooh. safety habit there, okay? okay? Now, hit that. <laughs> okay, okay. So what's going to happen now is you're going to push in the brake. Brake? Yep. Now push this down. Wait, which foot do you usually use? You use your right foot for the brake okay. and gas. Left foot is clutch only. Okay. Okay, so push that down. Okay, so now the brake is off. Get a feel for the clutch. Kind of push that bad boy in like five or six times. Without the brake? Yeah, just hit the floor. Just just get a feel for the yeah, stiffness. Yeah. Try and do something like really slowly let it out. Like really slow. It's hard to go so slow. Yeah, you, the slower you can go, the better. Push the clutch in all the way. Now you're going to push this over and up. Okay, so you're in gear now. When you start letting that clutch out and giving it just a little bit of gas, the car is going to go forward. Do I need to be on a brake or anything? No. Okay, release clutch. Yep, just slowly, like slowly release the clutch and get oh on the god. Oh my god. Okay. And then you got it. Slowly let it out. I am. Just keep going slow, keep going slow, keep going slow. It's going fast. I don't know why You're it's in going gear, fast. now let out of the clutch. You're all the way. You're going. <laughs> you did it, nailed it first try. Slowly let it out. I am. Just keep going slow, keep going slow, keep going slow. It's going fast. I don't know why you're it's going You're in gear fast. now, let out of the clutch. You're all the way. You're going. <laughs> you did it, nailed it first try. 
All right, drive around a little bit. You can give us some gas. I know. I'm just gonna go a little slow. You did it. Woo! Freaking nailed it. <laughs> that like couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> now do you want to do it again? You got. You got to prove it, prove yourself at least twice. Okay. Okay. Now your same routine, just super slow. Just give it a little bit of gas. Take off the brake. Yeah, you can let off the brake. The car's gonna roll a little bit, but not far. Oh, backwards. It goes backwards. Yeah, you're fine. It goes backwards. I know. Just let the clutch out. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. What does that mean? You stalled it. I you let it, you let the clutch out too fast. <laughs> Second time's always a little bit harder. I always see people rolling backwards. I'm like, why are they doing that? Yeah. It's now I it's know. Not in gear. Yeah, okay, so I can time. restart it. It's all right. It happens. Now you're like a natural now, just firing it back up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? Okay. Ah. I go super slow with the clutch and give it some gas. You gotta give it a little bit of gas. Yeah, but I have to take my foot off the brake and then I roll. You're gonna roll a little okay. bit, but there's nothing behind you. So, so just take get, off the brake. Remember so to just... give it some gas. There you go. Too fast. Well, you can give it some gas. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. All right. It, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> That's so scary. I don't know how you do this oh every day. Oh my gosh. Boom. Third time's a charm. So you're two for three. I would say this has been a success. You freaking did it. Nice All right, one. guys, so Kayla just successfully drove the Corvette, no problem, and I'm pretty proud of her. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. And as always, do it for Dale. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.